Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So this is going to be another update for my project polish and I'm not quite sure which update in a row it is. I think it's number four but I will put it in the title. And as of last time I had finished one of the nail polishes and added in two new ones and this that's exactly where I'm still staying because I have not been able to finish any of them as of last time. So the one that I have finished previously is uh, this one right here, the kind of coppery one shade right there. And after that I still have all of these nail polishes in my collection currently that I am trying to use up but I have been very good at using all of them throughout the month that has passed so I'm just gonna share my progress with you starting off with this grey shade right here that is kind of a just a true light grey shade that needs about two coats to be somewhat covering the nail and that one is from Nordic Cap of Sweden Star Nails it doesn't have a specific shade but it's just a light grey shade grey shade and this is what the nail polish looks like and as of previously if I can show you the line above is where I was and now I am down to this line right there so I do have some progress as of last time and I'm really happy about that and although there is about half of this nail polish left it is very thick and gloopy and applies very unevenly and streaky and it's very difficult to work with so it's not very far away from me to having to use the nail polish thinner in it which means this will last me forever because it's it's already thick and gloopy so the quality of these ones are really not that good but I'm gonna be working through it anyhow and the next in line here is this shade right here this kind of a green shade that's kind of a silky sheen to it it's very beautiful and this one is from Depend in the shade 429 and this is what that one looks like if you can see and I have used this one quite a lot since the last time at least two or three times this is where I was previously and the line below here is where I am right now so I have quite a lot of progress on this one I am below half of it right now and I do hope to have it finished soon I do enjoy this shade a lot it's beautiful and combined with the glitter topper that I have in this project as well it's really really gorgeous so I have been using it that way quite a lot and I'm enjoying it so I'm not sad it's still here but I would love to be able to add a new shade so I'm gonna be working hard on this one in the month that's coming and the next one in line is the pink one that I have on my nails a little bit sloppy today and also this is on the wheel right there this pink shade right here and this pink shade is very difficult to work with you only need one coat otherwise it kind of lumps up together it's very textured when it dries out so it's kind of has a texture of sandpaper almost it's really really annoying at least to me I, I get bothered by it a lot so I use it mostly on my toenails and because you only need such small amount of nail polish so this is lasting me forever so the progress isn't great but I'm gonna show you anyhow this is from Yves Rocher in the shade Rose Givray number 14 and it's just a mini little polish here so previously I was at this line right there I don't know if you can see maybe you can and then I have the smallest amount of progress right there but I promise you I use this twice on my fingernails I use it once or twice on my toes and that's how little progress you get with this one so you can imagine how difficult it is to use this one up but I do have very little left so I'm gonna be working hard on this one as well and the next one in line is the blue shade right here this is what it looks like it's kind of a true ocean blue shade and this one is from she bunny in the shade 028 this is what the bottle looks like this should this could be such a gorgeous shade 
except for the fact that it applies very difficult now and it does stain my nails so I do a do use a base coat for it so it wouldn't stain my nails but it still does it chips very easily it's just a difficult shade to work with and as of previously I was at that line right there and I am still there even though I have used it once on my fingernails and once on my toenails and it still hasn't budged uh, at all and it's getting very thick and gloopy it's getting very difficult to get any pro product out of it the shape of the bottle being that it's a little ball basically makes it very difficult to reach out and get out nail polish now when it's almost halfway through so I'm gonna be working on it and hopefully it will be finished but it's very difficult to work with right now and the last polish in this project is this one right here this one is a glitter polish from H&M and I just threw it in last time so I could be able to use the other shades a little bit more frequently and without feeling like I'm bored with them so the next shade in line is silver glitter from H&M and this is what that one looks like so as of previously I was way up here on the top of the bottle I don't know if you can see and then now I have a little slight progress so I am down to that line right there so I have used it quite a bit as a topper and I do like it a lot and I'm gonna try to use it on its own a little bit as well to make some more use out of it and my phone is disturbing me a lot so that was the last nail polish and as I said I'm not gonna be adding anything extra in and so this is what I have to work with throughout the rest of the month that's coming I do hope that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I hope that you leave some comments down below and please make sure to subscribe if you want to see some more of my projects and progress that I'm having with, uh, with cleaning out my makeup collection and just trying to use up the things that I'm not so in love with and the things that are getting way too old to be in my collection right now. So thank you so much for watching, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.